gain staging is one of those concepts that make people intimidated. They end up not understanding it and then still worrying about it afterwards. In this video, you'll learn exactly what concepts apply to you and why. Hey guys, this is Max from FL Studio Tips, an online school where we teach you everything you need about music production in the most straightforward way, so you can jumpstart your music career and live the dream producer life. Today, gain staging. Gain staging is about three things that all come down to setting audio to proper volume level for the effects you apply on it to work correctly, so to not introduce any noise if too quiet or distortion if too loud. Gain staging was very, very important up until humans came up with latest technology called computer. Or actually a little bit later, because first computer was actually made in second century before Christ, can you imagine that? <laughs> Specifically, a single precision floating point format, which is a computer number format that occupies 32 bits in the computer memory, which allows saving really, really high dynamic range files, in our case, in terms of volume. So thanks to that, we can save audio that is as quiet as minus 700 dB and as loud as plus 700 dB over the zero dB full scale range. And bear in mind, after minus 70 dB in most of the DAWs, it's referred to as completely muted point. And above zero dB full scale, it's clipping point. And the craziest part is that every three dB, it's double the volume. So you can imagine if minus 70 dB is completely mute, 32 bit mode allows you to save and read practically infinite times quieter than in our DAWs is marked as completely muted and infinite times louder than zero dB clipping point. Now, why it's so important when talking about gain staging? Because gain staging is making sure that we do not introduce any noise to our audio because it's too quiet when processing it, of course, and not destroying it when it's too loud and basically giving the plugin a headroom to nicely work. Now, plugins inside of your computer work in 32-bit environment, so there's no way you'll lose any data and there's no way you can make it too quiet to introduce noise. You can put it 700 dB over the full scale and then take it down at the very end. Heck, you can even go take your sample boost it wherever you can, here, apply fruity balance, boost it here, boost it here again, do it a couple of more times, boost it here as well, of course, boost it here. So now it sounds like that. And now you can render it in 32 bit point, start and normalize it. Mind blown, check fltips.com. Exception is that plugins that don't work linearly, like compressor or distortion, these two only really come to my mind. But in that case, gain staging and the whole concept of setting your audio to proper levels is so logical. If you apply limiter and your input gain is too quiet, it will just not get triggered, right? So you would need to put it up to actually trigger it. And same thing happens with distortion because distortion also works kind of linearly. So if you have proper input volume, you can hear the distortion, but if you put it down and now we can render it again with distortion applied and then normalize it, just doesn't get affected because the volume was too low when entering the distortion, but it was so quiet we did not introduce any noise. Look, I can go here with volume to minus 72 dB, okay? Now, you cannot hear anything, I can render it, I can go here, take it again, minus 72 dB, render it again, I will go again, take the volume down again on the same sample, minus 94, go and render it again, and now look, I go here and normalize. Oh. Crazy, right? We go in depth on this whole concepts and many, many more concepts in our mastering course and of course, mixing course. If you want to learn more about stuff like this, definitely check them out. You might also hear gain staging referring to the sweet spot of minus 18 dB full scale. That's because in analog days, that was perfect for the effect to hear the signal and affect it while leaving some headroom to not clip above zero dB full scale. And after you process it, then you can like put up the mixer fairly up or down. And again, as you saw nowadays, there's no zero dB full scale threshold inside of your DAW because no plugins like reverb, for example, or no tracks clip when you exceed that zero dB full scale. Look, I can put the track like that. 
And then I can route it to another mixer track like this and then turn it down minus 6 dB because here was plus 6. No clipping anymore. So if you clip on some of your tracks, that doesn't matter. You can turn everything down on your master anyway if you had no compressors or distortions on your master. Or even if you're clipping on your master without any compressors, you can render it and then in another project where you're mastering, just normalize it and all the peaks will be preserved. And then you will see some people telling that your plugins can clip. Let's come back to our very, very loud file before. And now we can put reverb, for example, on it like this, 100% wet. And now we can render it. And now we can normalize it. Perfectly fine, no clipping. Unless your plugin has clipping point at 0 dB full scale, then it won't be clipping at all. And I don't think I know any plugin that does that. For example, if it's a distortion, then of course it will usually clip because it's designed to do it. If you put any other reverb, for example Valhalla, on top of clipping sample like this, and now render it, Normalize, boom, perfectly, perfectly fine. And now, of course, if you go over the top and destroy the sample like this, if you use some third-party plugins, it might just destroy it. But usually with Fruity Reverb or like stock plugins, it won't have any issues. But you never do anything like this anyway. You just might sometimes clip somewhere, but it never ever, if you're using only software plugins and not hardware plugins, it always will be all right. If you put EQ, for example, boost it and now render it and now normalize it, perfectly fine. Nothing happens to it, right? So maybe if you use some different EQ and really, really clip, then it would screw up. So when you're using only software plugins, only thing about game staging is the convenience so you can clearly hear and play around with the threshold in your plugin. And for example, you do not affect the limiter the moment you just put in the sample because it's just too loud. Or happens for me most often that I put distortion on and it starts working with 0% because the input volume was so loud. In digital world, inside of FL Studio and other DAWs, it's really that simple. And if you use analog gear, I truly believe that you will hear the problem and fix it right away without even knowing the term gain staging. If you'd like to learn practically every single concept you need, check the first link in the description, leave a like if you enjoyed it, comment your next topic idea, and subscribe to not miss out to when it's coming out. See you in the next video.